to today's video. So, <laughs> this is going to be a very different video than what I thought I was going to film because it was kind of full of last minute decisions. So, obviously I'm not sitting down in front of or next to a bookshelf and that is because hopefully we will be doing some modifying of my bookshelves. Um, so, I just, one thing I want to point out before I get too in depth of this though and why I'm like not standing by my bookshelves is because it today is March 15. It is two days before St. Patty's Day. It's been beautiful all week. We've been going on walks. And then all of a sudden, here in Minnesota, it decides to snow. But it's snowing. And this is not abnormal or strange. It's just frustrating. It's a gray day. It's snowing. It's just not my favorite thing because it's been so spring-like lately. Anyway, so now that I've gone on my little weather rant, living here in Minnesota now, um, I'm going to head over to the bookshelf and explain what's going to happen here. I lied, there's one other thing I do want to mention before I head over to the bookshelf. So we're going I'm hoping to do a project with the bookshelf, but we are going to run to Menards today. We're going there for a different reason, but while we're there, I'm going to pick up some shelves for my bookshelf. We're going there. We're going there to get these guys a little home. So we picked up some plants just yesterday while we were out on a walk. Someone had plants out. So we've got some cabbage. We've got, I don't know, my husband grabbed some thyme. I think he did. And we've got something else that I don't know. My husband knows everything about plants. So I will ask him about it. But we currently have them in just one of our bowls next to the window, which is not their home, obviously. So we need to get them a place. Like we need, we were thinking of using old cans and bottles and kind of doing an indoor garden thing but then my husband was like there's no way there's gonna get sun because this is our one like big open window here like that's just the middle of the three windows that take up majority of the wall in this apartment and then that's the only good window we have in this apartment so he wants to create some hanging thing outside so that they can actually get some sun and air and whatnot of course now it's snowing which is really annoying but yeah so that's why we're going to menards but while we're at menards while we're at menards i'm gonna get something for the bookshelves so as y'all know it's just full of books it's so stacked it's gotten to a point where like here on the bottom shelf i can't see the initial thing of books because i have so many books stacked in front and i don't like that and like here not all the books fit and it's just really sad and frustrating. So quite a while ago we actually got this shelf from a friend of ours and it's a beautiful shelf except the only thing as you can see it only has one horizontal shelf otherwise it's, it's just empty and so these are all my husband's books on it currently because he doesn't have near as many books as I do obviously but I really want to when we're at Menards get shelves to put on here so that we can organize his books better and then we can give more room and space for my shelf, for my books and so that I can have books on both of these shelves and I can sort them a little bit better. I have no idea how I'm going to sort them if I'm going to put like all of my historical fiction and contemporary and anything that's not fantasy on this shelf or if I'm going to move all of my fantasies to this shelf. The other thing worth mentioning is that I want to make this shelf really nice because I'm thinking of filming here instead of over here because over here it's next to the dirty shoe rack and it's on the ground versus with this shelf I would be standing and have all of my books at the top and my husband's books at the bottom so I would stand I feel more comfortable standing um yeah, so I've just got a lot of decisions to do. So hopefully when my husband gets home from work, we're going to go to Menards and fix up these shelves. As well as give a home to our new plants. Also, yes, that is our game shelf. We definitely could use more shelves for our games as well. But um, for now, this works. And it will probably work until we move into a new apartment this fall. So in case anyone is interested, yes, we are big into board games. We're board game nerds. And then I'm a book nerd.
just walked out of Menards with our stuff to start not only the plants that we have, but we bought more plants to really start an indoor garden. <laughs> and we also have shelf units for the bookshelf. We're hoping they're gonna fit. We also finally bought a tape measure so we can like, <laughs> if they don't fit, then we can have actual measurements, but hopefully they will fit or we'll find a way to make it fit. So we're gonna go home and go try that now. But oh, the nights was so much fun. We bought stuff, we came home, we realized that the shelves we bought were 24 inches and we actually needed 25. We didn't know this because we did not own a measuring tape, <laughs> so we just guesstimated. And um, so we needed 25 and 9 and a quarter and what we got was 24 by 10. So we went back to Menards, we got all the things we needed for our plant garden and then some, so like that was nice, but we went back to Menards. And my wonderful husband here, who has worked in farming and construction, construction uh, was able to cut up a big board to be exactly what we wanted it to be. So we're back from our second trip from Menards, and he is getting the shelves. Look, it has shelves! Yay! So I will film a little montage slash sped up version of me putting books on the shelf and organizing it. But I will do that once we put together the garden um, because that's the other activity that my husband and I are going to do tonight. And then when he's off doing other productive individual things, I will be taking care of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bookshelf that we have built. That I've asked. <laughs> Celebratory pie that me and my friend made yesterday for, for pie. pie day. For pie day, we made blueberry pie. So we've planted most things. I'm taking a pie break while my husband builds the other little trough for the rest of the plants for the herbs. Here we go. part where we have finished planting our garden but now I've got a bookshelf to set up so I don't quite know exactly how I want to do it yet I might um, put like all my fantasy and all my favorites on this shelf now or I might put everything else <laughs> on this shelf we'll just see so now it's time to cue the montage most nostalgic book on his shelf and the other is a, the photo album for my husband's family because that thing is a chonker and there's no way it's gonna fit and it's special so like but everything else fits how it should I don't know if there'll be room for games but everything fits so now I'm just at the point where I'm just gonna like rearrange everything to make it look how I want I'm, I'm at that place where it's like yeah putting everything in rainbow order would look pretty and would make this whole process so much simpler. 
but I really want to arrange them kind of by genre or by similarity or hi, or by favorites. So I'm kind of stuck in like, now I have all the books here. How do I want to sort them? How do I want to put them together? How do I want to categorize them? So that's going to be this next process. Otherwise, everything is all moved. It's finally... My word, I can see all of my books. Woo! Okay, so I think I have finished, at least for tonight, probably. I don't think I'll be making any other tweaks, but um, now I'm just going to do a brief little overview of what the shelves are now. So on the top of the new shelf, I have all of the Disney Twisted Tales right next to my historical fiction section. Um, because, yeah, it just, it, it's working out that way for me. I love the Twisted Tales, but I really love my historical fiction. So they're just going to share a shelf together until one of them outgrows the other. Then we go down to my main shelf, and this has a lot of, like, my favorite fantasy, dystopian, kind of mythology-esque. Uh, my camera just went dark. I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do about that. And then we go down and it kind of has more of my favorite fantasies. A lot of the trilogies that I have are here. I finally have all my Garth Nicks together, which I've never had before, which is super exciting. And then we go down and there's like a contemporary section and kind of just a leftover fantasy, other books that I really enjoy or have yet to read. Have yet to read. And then we go down here, and it's actually still some of my husband's books down here with some of our photo albums. It just works out that way, plus we have the beanbag at the bottom of the shelf anyway. So, that's this shelf. And then, jumping over to the old shelf, I have some of the series that I had facing the other way. So, like, you only saw the selection book, but now you see the entire series. You see the Maze Runner that I had hidden behind it, and, like... All of my other just kind of leftover books. This is the classics slash old section. Um, so I've got like my J.R.R. Tolkien. I've got my classics. I've got like, um, yeah. And then I also have Twilight next to it because I don't know what I'm going to, yeah, that's just what it is. And down here it's just kind of got the last of my books and a lot of my husband's main books. So this is the old shelf. But you see how, like, everything actually lines up together, how it's supposed to, except for his favorite venomous animals and, like, the photo album on the other shelf? Yeah, this is so cool. It makes me very happy. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I had an absolute blast figuring out how my shelves are going to be. Like I said, I might tweak it a little bit um, in the next couple of days, but, like, this is probably what it's mostly going to be for quite a while. Probably until we move, honestly, because I don't think I'll be buying a lot more books until we move, and that's just going to be a whole other process. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how you guys organize your bookshelves. I prefer to do it kind of more so by genre and favorites rather than, like, color or author. <laughs> So let me know how you guys organize yourselves. Um, subscribe. I post every Thursday. Sometimes I'll do the occasional bonus video on Sundays, so make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so that you know exactly when I do upload and if there is a bonus video. But until next week Thursday, I wish you all a happy reading.